Hey, it's John Mark, and thanks for checking out this latest drawing video on teaching you how to draw cartoons. Well, this lesson is going to be a little different than from what you've seen me doing in the past. I'm going to be actually showing you how to do this little fun little pop-up type of little card with the little character, well, this hot dog character. Before we get started, we're going to have to make sure we get the paper ready. So get an eight and a half by 11, and what we're going to need to do is fold that in half. All right, that's an eight and a half by 11. We're going to fold that in half. All right, there we go. Let's get the top nice and even and fold it. Bingo, there we go. Now, we're going to take the top part and just slide it down. Okay, just fold that to the half. Okay, another half. And that's basically it. It's just that and those two little folds there. Very simple. All right, so we have the eight and a half by 11. And then we're going to take that folded in half a little bit more. All right, so when you have that set, we're ready to begin with today's lesson. All right, so let's begin the lesson. If you have your paper all folded in the right way, uh, make sure that the smallest part is on the top. And what you're going to be watching me use is my mechanical pencil, and I'm actually using a blue lead. Uh, the reason why I like the blue lead is because I can uh, lead is I can get very very sketchy in the very beginning, and then I can clean it up with my HB pencil thereafter. So if you just watch me and uh, watch it, this is basic shapes I'm doing, just really sketchy. So I'm doing the outside bun, and then I'm going to be doing the other one all the way on the outside right now, and it's just really quick. Uh, this is like um, clay modeling. You're just putting all pulling out the clay and moving around very, very rough. All right, I'm just going to put some quick little shoes down there, kind of like the typical shoes from the Mr. Potato Head style. Very, very just quickly and simple. Nothing too fancy-dancy. All right, and here's the eyes right now. I'm just putting them in there again. And as you can see, sometimes I, I'm, I'll spend more time in detail with the actual uh, illustration area more than uh, like the out outer body that you saw me do. It was really, really quick. All right, and there's the eye lot. Brows right there on the top. And again, as you can see, it's really, really sketchy on the outside. A little bit more attention to the actual facial feature. And let's do a simple little nose. There we go. Very sim simple. Okay, and a little smile right there. And note on the paper, the rate right one is going to open up. You don't want to go all the way down. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. Like the mouth, I'm stopping right there so it doesn't completely go. But the buns and the hot dog, I did make it all the way on both sides. I'll explain that now. You open it up, and you're going to have this big void. Okay, now you're going to have to connect those lines, the side of the, um, the bun and the hot dog, and that's when you can do some more illustration in the middle. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is take that one straight to the outside and just connect it. There we go. Likewise with that one there too, and connect it. There we go. And all the way to the other one there too. And the inside of the hot dog. Here we go with the hot dog. Mm -mm -mm. I had lunch already, so I don't have to worry about making a hot dog. All right, let's get all the way to the other side there. That looks good. Now the outer one there, and the, again, this is sketch. This is just a pencil sketch. This is not, not final art in any which way. This is just having fun. Now this is the bottom lip where the mouth is going to be wide open. So now that's when I connect that line where the mouth is on the top there and I connect the other one there too. All right, let's give it a, a fun little tongue. All right, a little curve there. And hanging over at the lip. I like that. Hey, let's get a little bit more with his mouth. Alright, his nose. A little bit a little bit more detail there. A little slower. Okay, there we go. I like that. I like that. And let's let's get that a little bit there. Okay. Oh, pencil's out. Falling on me there. Alright, let's get the other side there. A little bit more. It's a little slower there. I'm just sketching a little darker now in the very beginning when i sketch it's very light so i don't have to worry about erasing and then when i like the shape i can come back and redirect the, the line if i want it to be wider thicker narrower changed all together and there we go see now i'm sketching a little bit darker on it really really quick okay and, and i'm going to get the whole other side of the bun right now there too 
So that's the dimensional part that I'm doing right now. It kind of gives you that thickness of the bun. Kind of gives it like a cartoony. So it's not just one line. It's two. All right. It's looking good. Let's get the hut inside of the hot dog. You can change that little head there to shape. But just make sure that you actually connect the two lines from the top to bottom in the same spot. So when you pop it open, it opens and looks really nice. All right, let's get the shoes a little bit. Yeah, don't be afraid of rotating the paper, too. I should have been doing that in the very beginning. Yeah, uh, the paper isn't 100 pounds or anything. It's like a steering wheel in the car. You can rotate it. It makes it a lot easier for um, to, when you're drawing. And this is typical for an animator because we have an animation wheel that we rotate. All right, so let's get some hands over here. Okay, I'm going to get a little thumb, a little finger. As you can see, I'm just quickly putting the shapes together. And another one right there. Okay, that's like he says, he's like, hey, he's all happy and everything. All right, and then I just come back again. I'm just going to go a little bit more in direction to where the fingers looks and hold. Those are the building blocks like I, I share in a lot of my other videos where you're actually drawing is you want to make sure that you have the shapes. It's much easier than just kind of like tracing tracing is not what you want to do you want to build those uh, basic shapes and then come back and fine-tune them and that's what you get a cartoon from like this all right that's looking good let's get another one here and the key thing that you want to do also make sure is the area that folded um, open the inside you're not going to have new art on top of that because it'll look really funny so you got to secretly make sure that every fits into that area that was closed when you were doing that very first step. You don't want to overdo that boundary and then when you're closing you're like, uh oh, made a mistake. This is a fun part of creativity. Nope. There my lead broke again a little bit there. Okay, here we go. Let's get that finger. Let's go to the line right there. Alright. Okay. Oh, broke again. Yeah, the lead is very light. It's not a a very uh, strong lead, which is a temp. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Breaking lead. All right, let's get the thumb. All right, get that a little bit better down there. And just I like the arm, the little curve, his hands. Okay, he's looking to go. You can see that the hands, both hands are really dark. Let's get that little uh, shoulder so it looks a little bit more dimensional sticking out there for that hand. All right. All right, so what we can do from here now is I'm going to switch my lead to my HB. And now I'm going to go a little bit more darker over the exact lines that I just did everything in blue with. All right, let's get this mouth going. And again, don't be afraid to rotate the paper. As an animator, we always like to rotate the paper. It makes it a little bit easier whichever direction your hand is moving. Sometimes you might have it easier pulling from inside straight out or left and right, whatever makes it easier for you to go those those lines. So you're not like trying to turn with your elbow and your shoulder. It should be nice and easy for you. All right, so there again, the eye, eyebrows a little bit darker. All right, and as you can see here, I'm not gonna try to turn. I have my fingers on inside and the outside of the paper like that I'm holding so I can quickly turn it. So I'm not like typical like an animator, how we were taught the old fashioned way. 2D animation, not the 3D animation. A dying art. All right, so let's get the inside of the mouth then. That's the inside there. I'm just going to go quick there. And the other one right down there, all the way down. And I have that line overlapping. It doesn't end there. It's like overlaps there. And that's the, the little lip. Give them a little lip. All right, that's looking good. All right, so let's darken the tongue area. There we go, a little bit more. And again, when this is all finalized, if you really like the art, you can take it to your light box and then trace it again on a, like on a bristle and then ink and color it in from there. So this is just a typical paper that I like to sketch in just to get your ideas out. But if this was a card for somebody, you might just want to redo it all over again or color it in and give it as a gift then too. All right, let's just get those hands and those fingers in. That looks good. Let's get that back of the arm there. Give that little dimension. Okay. All right. So let's do this hand over here now. The same thing. 
So I'm going to rotate whatever feels easy for me to draw when I'm pulling up or pulling down, whatever direction. Yeah, I can go straight up there and I can pull around. Feels okay. But now I'm just going to rotate it so I can just do the finger there. Whoop, this feels a lot easier this way. I like it like this. And there. And let's get that. And a little rotate there. There we go. Get the bottom of the, the hand there. All right. Let's get the back of the arm. There you go, the inside. And, and then I have this little line overlapping. It doesn't meet intentionally. Kind of gives you that overlapping. So let's do the inside of that hot dog, as you can see, the bun right now. Okay, turn around. I can get there. Let me go a little bit to the top and rotate. All right, that's looking good. I like that a little bit heavier. Get the straight away now. All right, I get the back side there. All right, get the curve right there. Easy. And if I did, if I were going to color this one in particular and this type of paper, I would probably do it with my mechanical. I'm not mechanical pencils, my color pencils. <laughs> I'm using a mechanical pencil to draw, but I would use color pencils to color this one. And if it was a thicker piece of paper, I could use watercolors definitely, or maybe some um, more uh, watercolor brushes. All right, let's move that one down over a little bit more. The curve there, looking good. It's not that much more to do. We're just about done with this one, believe it or not. And all right, a little bit down on the other side. Okay, you can see how when I actually have it that way, my hand can go straight really quick. I can make straight lines. It's really comfortable for me that way. So don't be afraid of uh, not to rotate. All right, so let's get those little shoes in. So you can change them in. These are just little, this is a quick little sketch. So I'm making them underneath. I'm going to just give them like the old... Uh, Zoot Zoot from the 40 style. I'm going to just color them in a little black and hi highlight them with the uh, mechanical pencil. So what, what I do here now is sometimes I'll shade in and this is what I'm doing what I mean when I shade. It's like give some more dimension to some of the areas and just very, very quick. There you go, like a highlight. And that's like if there was a black shoe with white tips. All right, so here's the next thing that I want you to really pay attention is doing these little speed lines for shadowing. So you see how fast I'm doing them? I gotta go all the way up. So that just gives it like a shadow right where it's inside the the, uh, the hot dog. But notice how far apart they are. I'm trying to keep them evenly spaced intentionally because the further they're away, uh, the more looks gray. So you can see how fast I'm doing. I'm going one, two, there we go, there we go, here we go. And don't worry about if they're overlapping any line because this is just a sketch, no more than that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I wanna basically do the same direction and the same distance since they're the same area of uh, the hot dog, that same area, it's looking good. All right, let's keep it going. All the way up, you can go really slow. If it overlaps again, don't worry about that. Get on the top of the hand here and keep going. Yep, you see how fast I'm going. Sometimes I might practice without going just to get sure. And boom, boom, and just get that line right in there. All right. Next thing I would definitely do, let's do his mouth. Now, this one's going to be a little interesting. So I'm going to do in the same direction I am. They're a little tighter. See how tight they are now? They're not as wide as on the outside. They're tighter. And that's just to make sure that it's a little darker. So when I go all the way through, and now I'm going to do cross hatching, I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to start on the top all the way back down. But when I get to the lower, I'm going to space them out wider on the bottom so they kind of get less and less, so it's not as gray. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So it's it's really, really tight on top and wider on the bottom. So it gives some more um, shading. So I'm going to make some more up there, a little bit darker. All right, and what else can we do? I maybe give some little freckles on the side of the uh, the bread, on the buns, on the hot dog. I always love doing stuff like that. That looks good. I like that. A little on the top. There we go. Yeah, I think we're all done with that. So this is a, a project on a little pop-up uh, hot dog. It could be a really, really fun little card to give to somebody. You could even have, say, happy birthday or congratulations or whatever you want to say inside 
dun, dun, dun. He's a little short fry running around. So here we go. Let's pop it up. There he goes. And close him up. And pop him up. And let's close him down. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And uh, make sure you check out all my other videos. Thanks and have a great day.